Ninja Trader released 8.1.3, and this new release includes 10 new features, 68 fixes, and we've broken them down for you, and this is what you need to know about. Okay, bug fix number 11979. Now, before I begin, someone did ask me in the last video if these numbers are real. Yes, they are real. You can actually go to the release notes and refer to them. Also, if you're talking to Ninja Trader support, you can mention these numbers, and they will make sense of them for you. So the issue here was trailing stops submitted in their web trader did not show proper price adjustments on the desktop. So obviously it's a good thing to ensure consistency across the platform and enhances, you know, the user's experience. It also prevents potential confusion, trading errors, that sort of thing. 11989. So the target filled sound was missing. Target filled. This has now been fixed and it's there. So obviously a good thing because you don't want to miss any trade cues. You want to be able to react to the trading environment and be able to make decisions quickly. And so therefore we need that sound file there and glad that's been fixed. Now, if you're glad you don't have to go through all these release notes to find these things, slap that like button. Let me know you appreciate it. It will also let others know about it too. 8255. So if you use ATMs, this is important because the stop strategy changes were not being reflected to save ATMs. This is now fixed. Now this should be obviously, you know, important to you because you don't want any unintentional trading outcomes because of it. Now the last three bug fixes were all to do with ATMs. Now, if you have not used ATMs, you really should be because they can improve not just your efficiency, but your trading. Having something automatically move a stop to break even or doing any number of tasks automatically for you can really save you. In fact, I know people that solely use the NinjaTrader platform because they understand how to use ATMs. Now, we're going to be coming out with a full course on ATMs, totally free. It's going to be on the YouTube channel. Make sure that you are subscribed if you want to get that, as well as we have a whole bunch of other courses that we're going to be releasing that are going to be pretty much full-length deep dives into a bunch of different trading topics. 4219. Okay, so I'm pumped to see this fixed because this has affected me. I didn't even know it was affecting me. It's probably affecting a lot of you guys that use macros. Okay, so think Stream Deck, mouse, keyboard, anything where you might change time frames quickly based off of those uh, hotkeys, anything like that. If you do it quickly, and let's just say you jump from one time frame to another or one chart to another, if you are reloading historical data quickly in quick succession, you could get into a hung state. Now, obviously that affects the system stability. So I'm super glad to see this one fixed. One, two, five, one, zero. Now this is important because you, again, one of those things you didn't know affected you, but there was a, a there is a UI.xml file in your NinjaTrader folder and it holds a lot of customization settings. Now this file would prevent NinjaTrader from starting if it got corrupted. I'm not sure how it would get corrupted, but if it did, then your NinjaTrader wouldn't start. And there have been a few people that mentioned to me, I can't get NinjaTrader starting. I don't know why. And you can delete this file and it will just rebuild it, but it's going to rebuild it with all those customization settings being included. So I'm glad to see that this was fixed. 7165. Now there's a demo box option in the configuration of Continuum or CQG. This has been removed and that's because demo box, uh, demo accounts are no longer offered by them. So it, it's going to be something where you're going to want to know where to get data from and where to get demo accounts from and how to get that. So there is some interesting ways to do this that most people don't know about. We're going to be coming out with videos on those too. So make sure that you are subscribed for those um, specifically around uh, getting FX data and not having to pay for it and how you go about doing that without having a multi-provider fee and all that. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm glad to see that this was updated. Uh, it should not be there. It was causing a lot of confusion. One, two, 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 two. Now this is removing a third party add on could cause an error for other indicators. Thankfully, this is fixed because if you removed an old add on and you installed one of ours, we wouldn't want it giving you an error. So I'm glad to see that removing Ninja Script assemblies could cause an error for other indicators. That issue has been resolved. 11991. Now, this is more of a change. They changed the connection, uh, the NinjaTrader connection, how it works. They improved the ability 
to auto reconnect after a drop connection. Now, I haven't tested this enough, but I have heard my computer trying to reconnect over and over and over and over again when a connection was dropped and it just, it doesn't reconnect. So I'm hoping, I haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping that that means it's fixed. 9591. Okay, in this one, they have resolved an, uh, a crash, I guess that would happen, when a computer was brought out of hibernation mode. I don't know if there's a specific scenario, but there was some sort of trigger that would cause Ninja Trader to crash when coming out of hibernation mode. This has been resolved. 14037. I guess there was a problem with some people using their Google accounts to sign into their Ninja Trader platform. Some sort of scenario that Google wasn't working, the sign-in wasn't working at all times, uh, has now been fixed. So if you hit that problem, You'll be glad to know it's done with. Okay, moving into features, we are looking at 13291. Now, this has to do with a chat option being put into the control center of Ninja Trader. I like that it's there. I don't like the location of it. Please move it underneath the help menu. Interactive Brokers has it this way. A lot of other places do as well. If you are wanting to use the chat, it's because you need help. So I understand the logic probably from management side of why they put it so in your face. They want to do good customer support, but I think it should be moved underneath the help menu. Now, what I am a big fan of is 9225. You can update your platform from within the account manager window. Again, sticking this underneath the main heading, it's probably not the way I would do it. I would probably stick it underneath the help option. Um, anyways, I love the fact that this feature is in there. I think it's gonna help a lot of people stay more current and up to date. Uh, so I'm glad to see it's there with the release notes, even though they're kind of boring and we like to make them more entertaining. You know, maybe put a link to our video beside your release notes. It might be, you know, just saying. And feature 6864, this is going to be a news feed that is now available within the Ninja Trader connection. Uh, this is being filtered news and stuff like that. That's going to be like, um, uh, like news articles, uh, not sort of economic news. If you need economic news, we do have an indicator for that. It's free. Uh, we have a pro version as well, but um, that's for economic news. This is more like news articles, like people's opinions and stuff like that. So if you want uh, your news tab with your Ninja Trader connection open to see what might be running there, you can definitely get that with the new feature 6864. 13037. Now this is an additional column in your accounts tab that will show you more to do with your account risk. So this is, you know, probably pretty important. Um, it's going to be something that you'll probably want to have up there. I don't know if it's a default thing, but I do think you should look at your accounts tab and make sure that all the columns you have active are there. So I know most of you guys don't do this, but I'm going to challenge you to whack that thumbs up button just so that this video can get out to other Ninja Trader 8 users and we can let them know about all these bug fixes and features that have come out because a lot of people might not even know a release is out by now and we'll get more of these done for you.